Hello and welcome to the next tutorial about the FlexiLine configuration in the FlexiSoft Designer. In this video we will create the corresponding logic to our FlexiLine system. In the FlexiLine definition we configured a global e-stop and a global restart. We now need to route these signals from every station into our process image so that they are available for the other stations in our system. To create the logic, I added an XCIO with one e-stop, a reset and a start button in the hardware configurator. For the outputs, we use a robot as an example for the actuator, as well as two signal lamps to show if a reset or restart is required. We switch the logic editor to start creating our logic. First of all, we add the e-stop together with a reset block. Due to safety reasons, the reset has to be local. Therefore, we simply add the reset button and connect it with the function block. Until this point, there is nothing new. We just created a simple reset logic. However, we now want the signal of the e-stop to be available for every other station in the system. Therefore, we need our line signal, which we can find under outputs flexi line. Here we can see the names we gave our bits in the previous tutorial. We choose the e-stop bit and add it to our logic. Now we connect it to the enable output of our reset block. With this logic the signal of our local e-stop will be routed into our process image and become global. The next step is to read the signal from the process image. Therefore we go to inputs, flexi line and add the corresponding input to our logic. Now it is time to add a restart function block and connect the e-stop signal to the release input. On the enable output we can now connect our local robot. The only thing missing now is the global restart. To implement this function we first of all need to add our restart button. Then we connect it via a routing block to the corresponding line output like we did with the e-stop. Now the restart signal is also available in the global process image. To use it we connect the input bit to the restart input of the restart function block. Now we also add the two lamps for reset and restart required. Basically, we just created an easy FlexiSoft logic with one e-stop, a reset and a restart function. The only difference is that the signals of the e-stop and the restart are now available for all stations connected to the FlexiLine system. If the e-stop is pressed, all stations which are connected via line will stop. In the same way, we can restart all the machines simultaneously from any station after the reset has been locally performed. Of course we now need to create a similar logic in every other station separately. In the next video we are going online with our FlexiLine system and learn how to use the teach function. 